Hello, this is Paul with Logix Magazine, and today we're going to talk about how to build a PLC program fast. And we're going to start right now. Now, what we're going to focus on in this video is an input routine, okay? We're going to try to break it down and, and share with you how to organize your information, how to look at a project and then off, almost off the top of your head, be able to organize your, your rungs uh, very quickly. We're going to talk about that right now. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we have a project. Let's go ahead and back out of here. Right, let's square, square this up. Okay, now, today we're not going to get really deep. Um, we're starting a uh, weekend workshop where we take a real world project and we build it from scratch and show exactly how an engineer would build it. And this is kind of a snapshot into that type of uh, program programming course uh, workshop. So um, today we're going to look at a project and I'm going to share with you a simple pro way to look at your project and how to organize it and how to pull the information from a project and how you would organize it in a PLC program. Okay, so first things first. Here's our project, right? So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to cycle this, this, I'm going to simulate this uh, project. So here we have um, our machine, okay? This is a uh, a secondary machine, assembly machine. So we have a part and we have some clips that get assembled. So there's our parts, right? Now we're going to clamp the parts. You'll notice here that the part gets clamped. Now, what you don't see is uh, an operator at the beginning loaded some clips on each of these cylinders, right? So they loaded clips on them and then the parts in the get in it, uh, set on the machine, then a clamp, then the clip drivers, the clip cylinders, they're going to push forward and, and put those clips, install them onto the plastic parts. Then they're going to put, retract in a, in a part mark. So once this is all done and everything's approved, then the part will get marked in a very specific space, uh, spot in a very specific way to know that the part's been inspected because essentially this is an installation inspection machine. Okay, one more time. Parts are loaded. Cylinder clamped, cylinders extend, and install the clips, and the part mark is installed, and the part is retracted and from the machine. Very, very simple process, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at our routine. This is our um, this is our sensors routine, okay? That's all it is. Now we're going to talk about how to organize this uh, information. So the very, very first thing is, at the very first rung, what, what I like to do is... Um, or summarize every so at the top as I start the top I I I make sure that everything is summarized from the big and then all the way down near the bottom of the routine is where I get into very specific details so first rung here is a summary are all the parts present and it's a status right so left hand nest right hand nest Okay, very simple. Now, here are all the clips present. And remember, we talked about that the operator, let's go here. Well, the operator will install clips on, on the top of each of these cylinders before they load the part and cycle the machine. Okay, very simple. Are all those parts present right here? Okay, all clips present. Now, if they're missing, we need to know that right here. All right. We need to know that. Very important. So this is, are they there? And then we have some indicators, right, throughout our machine, some some light, some indicators that tell us um, if something's active or not active, right? Okay. And then, of course, we have two nests. If you recall on our project, let's uh, pull that out. We have left-hand part, right-hand part, right? There's our left-hand part and right-hand part. Okay, so we have to break this down. So here what we have is we have um, left-hand nest here and here. And we try to differentiate between everything the left-hand and the right-hand nest. Now, something I, I may have failed to, to mention, we'll circle back. When I look at this project and I organize it, I, I start from the top to bottom, left to right. 
Okay, so in this case, I'm going to start on the left and top to bottom, left to right. Now, what does that what does that mean? How do I organize that? So essentially, when I put in my um, when I put in my when I take and build my tags, I'm going to start and do my whole. Let's move this guy over here. All of my left hand parts and cylinders everything to do with the left hand i'm going to organize them starting at the top left and then work my way down i'm just going to make a list and i'm going to add them in so in our project what we have is we have um we have two we have three cylinders here two down here so this would be cylinder one two three four five and there are there's a cylinder extend and retract on each one so left hand cylinder extend and extend left hand cylinder retract right left hand cylinder extend left hand cylinder retract so to me left hand clip cylinder one is right here right so let's go ahead and mark that so left hand cylinder one right there two there three there okay so that is that is exactly how how I would organize that, and I'd be extend, retract, extend, retract, extend, retract. So I'd start with my clips first, right? As you see right here, left hand clip present. Okay, so there's a clip present, left hand. All the left hand clips need to be present. Then my cylinders extend and retract all the way down. Okay, and then my my part mark, which is up here, and this one's um, sometimes you're gonna have ones that are kind of an anomaly, kind of out outside. This is my part mark, so I'm gonna save that one for last, and I'll put that down at the bottom. Now, when you walk up to a machine, you need to just organize your um, information, and there's it's a really simple thing to do. What you just want to do is get a piece of paper, and let's see if I can. Pull that out. So my list of list of paper here is I've got a I've got a left hand um clip, right? Uh left hand number one clip in this case. Uh, number one clip. Okay. And then essentially I'm gonna do the exact same thing, right? I'm gonna left hand number one, left hand number two clip. All right. So, uh, and I'm going to continue doing, oh, I did that all kinds of crazy, didn't I? Okay. Left hand number two clip. Left hand number three clip. And you'll notice that's exactly all I'm doing. Now, in this case, I'm going to say present and etc. So, that's exactly how you're going to put uh, and build your programs all right so now once i've taken a list of everything i literally will download my tags from the program that i i begun i built and go to tools export tags and logic comments and it's going to download an excel file right once i have that excel file I just take my notepad out and I then say, okay, how many of these do I have? And you'll notice here, I have almost 32 bits that I need to account for, right? Between the clips and the cylinders. So that tells me right, right away, as soon as I look at the machine, it tells me, now, this, these, will be, these will be on off, right? They're not analog. So I already know what kind of card I need and how many um, inputs I'm going to have. Very simple. So it helps me determine right away how many cards I'm going to have, what they're going to need to be able to do, um, and how many I.O. I'm going to have. All right. So very, very, very simple. When I go to the right-hand side, in this case, since I have almost 32 bits accounted for, that means I'm going to start over on another card, a 32-bit card right so here i'm going there's my third card almost 32 bits for that one as well because the two just conveniently are are identical left and right hand part so it makes it very simple for me to organize my material now let's go back to the program because this is where that's how i get my info so i begin to organize my info now how do i lay it out summary at the top summary at the top and then we'll 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 narrow it down to very specific inputs down at the bottom. So again, let's go back here. All right. 
So we have we have we're, we're focused on on all the parts present. It's a summary. It's a status fit. All part uh, all the clips are they there? Notice I'm this is where I'm looking for every specific clip, right? In the in the uh, clip drivers, or is anything missing? Okay, um, the felt now inside on these parts there the operator will install the clips into the cylinder drivers, right? And then they'll put a couple of uh, pieces of felt on the part uh, to um, to make sure it, it's part of the assembly so that there's not a lot of racket in your car as you're driving down the road, right? Okay, so from there uh, we have um, hand stall clips present. So in this case, hand install clips present. There are some clips that are already on the part. You're just going to make sure that they're that they are there, right? Okay, so now, now we go down and we look at each and every single clip. So, is it present? Is there a bypass in the status left-hand part sensor bit? And then we, well, all we do is do the exact same. We account for every single input, every single left hand, and every single right hand clip and part present right okay that my friends is how simple it is so essentially when you and i'll try to summarize this when you look at the build your routine you want to summarize at the top right so what you're going to do is you're going to say hey is everything there right so so in let's let's look at this even a different way when you can build your program, begin to put in all every single input that you need to account for, every single one. And then if you're going to have a bypass, and then you're going to create a, a, a uh, get one of your instructions and create an output. In my case, I want to use a status bit tag, okay? Status, I want to identify a status tag um, to tell me what the status of that is, of that input, if, if it's there, right? Or not, if it's bypassed or not. Now, once I have all those, then I'm going to summarize that here at the top. So now I'm going to say, um, so I'll break this down. If all you have is, is say one clip, right? Or one uh, nest, then you just wanna take this one, all clip, uh, clips, uh, let's say not this one, you wanna take this one, all clips present, right? So you, you look at that nest and you count for every single clip that's in there, right? And then all you're going to do is, and this rung here is just saying, hey, um, do I see them? Okay. So this, this is the right hand. This is the left hand. I'm just going to list them all out. This is a summary. That's it. Right. Now, in this case, I have the, the two. Sometimes that by itself is, is all you'll need. Right. But in this case, we've also added in, is anything missing? Now, if that's you have one nest you have a handful of um, inputs um and you want to know is it bypassed are they all there um is anything missing then list all of your inputs essentially that's that may be all you'll ever have to do and now you you are able to uh build an input routine very very quickly you see exactly how we we've done it right so we're going to take we're going to take uh, the left-hand nest, and we're going to go top to bottom and list them all out. We discussed exactly what we're going to do, how we're going to do that. You've seen how we um, how we build our list, right? P R E S E N T. We've seen how that what that looks like exactly. We we determined how do I know how many I O I need? Well, you're going to count how many inputs you need in this particular case, right? In this particular case. Now we saved card one for incidentals, the main, the main uh, cylinders, right? The main clamps, right? Part clamping. So, and a couple of odd and end things that we'll have to add in here later, right? So we got all kinds of uh, air pressure, light curtain, that kind of stuff. But then this card two, and we have on the left hand side, we have almost 32 inputs. So therefore we need a 32 bit card. In the right hand side, same thing, right? And then we're just going to start top to bottom, top to bottom, right? On the right hand side, we're going to go top to bottom, right to left, 
But essentially, that's the, that's exactly what we do. And then we just list them out. You just go down. That's that's going to be um, uh, left hand clip present because there's a sensor right at the end of that that uh, cylinder there, right? There's a sensor right at the end of it. So it's going to look for a part, all right? So we're just going to count our cylinders. We're going to call it left hand one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're just going to count them. And though that's what that becomes. That's the name of it, left hand clip um, number one, present. Left hand clip number two, present. Left hand clip number three, present. And we just list them out. And I just take a piece of paper and I just list them all out. I list all my I.O. And then when I open up uh, my program, so I create a program, right, a new program. And then I all I do is I install the, the cards that I need and uh, that, that I need to have, right, because now I know how many cards I need. Uh, I add the modules to the program, right? And then from there, um, I'll download my um, my export my tags and logic comments. I'll open up my Excel project, right? And then I'll just take my notes and I will just list them all out. Then I will import them back into the program. And then all I need to do is very quickly, I'm just going to list all, create my my rungs what every single one of these right uh let's look at our excel so let's break that down a little bit so here i'm just going to take these and i'm going to create a rung for every single one of them now what i need to then do is say i look at my project and say does this information need to be grouped and if it does then i begin to summarize that at the top okay What's there? Is everything there? Great. For the nest. Is anything missing? Boom. Okay. And then and then in this case, there's some, some other things we had to consider in the project, right? That you don't easily see on um, on the uh, project drawing. So I hope that makes sense. You're going to list them all down and you're going to just summarize at the top. All right. You have to consider rather it's being bypassed if they're missing and is everything present? And you just summarize at the top. That's it. That's your, essentially your, your inputs routine. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, I didn't, it, it, this is, you know, a 17 and a half minute video. If I would have done this uh, as a full training, it would have took me a lot longer. So, but here's the thing, you can be done, you can be done in 30, 40 minutes uh, or less. Now, uh, depending on a whole lot of variables, of course, but um, you can see there's a lot more to this um, to this routine. Um, but you can get through this main part of the routine pretty quickly and have accounted for all your inputs. Okay, very quickly. We do the rest of our project the, essentially the exact same way. There's a formula for this to make it very, very simple quick and easy to understand, organize, format your project. All right, so we're going to be starting some uh, some Saturday morning workshops. I'm going to invite everyone who sees this video. If you think that this type of project would be helpful uh, to learn how to do, then uh, reach out to me. I'll keep you updated uh, as to the status when we're going to actually be starting this, but it'll be really, really soon. So I'm excited about this. And uh, you, you're going to get some real world projects uh, that you're going to be able to learn how to implement um, right away. We're not going to waste a whole lot of time. All right. So if I can be of help, let me know. Again, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. Any questions, put them down below. Any suggestions, any ideas, anything you, th you think you would do differently, I'd love to hear it. Um, and if this has been helpful, subscribe, hit the bell so you know the next time I put a video out. All right. So again, this is Paul with Logic Magazine. You guys, you got to get back to programming, man. Take some time. I know it's a holiday weekend, but don't let that get in the way of you programming. All right. So sincerely, man. Take care, guys. Bye.